and you can see a report on that match on Channel 4 tonight at 10.15. But that's all from us for now. A very good evening to you. And now from Anglia, with the weather forecast, here's Jim Bacon. Thank you very much. Good evening. Well, quite a lot of rain across the region now, and in parts of the region, particularly in the west, in the Huntingdon area, one correspondent reports a thunderstorm this afternoon, and at Linton near Cambridge, nearly three quarters of an inch of rainfall already. So some wet weather to come for the first part of the night. Thereafter, it'll become drier from the north, turning quite foggy, I think, in places by the end of the night. And needless to say, tomorrow should be a better day all round. The satellite picture, taken at two o'clock this afternoon, shows a great mass of cloud over the eastern side of the country, and buried in that cloud is a trough. It's really a line where the showers merge together, and indeed that's done it uh, more effectively than on most occasions to give quite a large area of fairly continuous rain with some quite heavy showers mixed in amongst it. So certainly some quite wet weather. It's moving slowly southwards, and as the chart shows, the ice of ours still indicating a cool breeze from the north or the northwest. The frontal system further to the west over the Atlantic, that's potentially quite interesting, but not, I think, until the middle part of the week. So the forecast chart for midday tomorrow, you can see a healthy build of pressure to the south of the British Isles, and that's going to bring some fine weather for most of us in the Anglia region tomorrow. The winds are light west or northwesterly, and just the chance, the outside chance, of a light shower during the afternoon. The temperatures tonight, though, falling to about 10 or 11 Celsius, and that's probably as low as they'll get before fog starts to form. And I think in the second part of the night, some quite thick fog patches forming as the rain clears away. And incidentally, it could be uh, well into the night before parts of Essex and Hertfordshire become drier, almost uh, towards dawn tomorrow. Temperatures, well, after a foggy start in the morning tomorrow, they're going to be reluctant to climb, but eventually the cloud will thin. We'll all have a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, and except for the chance of a passing light shower in the afternoon, most of us having a dry day, with temperatures around 19, possibly 20 Celsius, and if we can be extremely lucky in the south of the region, perhaps up to 21, which is 70 Fahrenheit. Well, on that optimistic note, I'll wish you a very good evening. The way life is today, it's no wonder so many of us are missing one-third of the fibre we need every day. Did you know nine out of ten of us aren't getting enough fibre in our daily diet? As it happens, a bowl of one breakfast cereal can provide the fibre we need to make up that missing third. Whatever else you're missing, Kellogg's All Bran. It can make all the difference. Sorry, sir, you'll need a jacket. Oh, no train is cheap. Club rules. No jeans. Whoever makes them. When you need something to feel good about, Novo's the snack packed with a dozen deliciously good things, like rolled oats, honey, glucose syrup and milk chocolate. You still can't come in without one of these. Cheers, mate. You'll feel good after a Novo. <laughs> No salad is ever going to be fooled by a thin, runny salad cream. Because no other salad cream has the unique taste of Heinz. As any celery worth its salt will tell you. Special edition Peugeot 205 Junior. With so many special features on so few cars, you'll have to work fast to get one. I'll be working my way back to you, babe. Let alone two. With a burning love inside. Yeah, I'm working my way.
Welcome to the Ulster Hall and welcome to Sing Out. Tonight, as well as the massed choirs, the Templemore Band and the orchestra, Roger Whittaker's special guests are the St. George's Singers and from Canada, Carol Baker. <laughs> 